another freestyle show here at the 72 Club. Talking football is what we do, fellas. NFL Week 16. Two more weeks to go. One more team for show. Oh, man. And uh, a brawl in the Meadowlands. The ridiculousness of this uh, Odell Beckham Jr. and and Josh Norman and the news just came down the wire. Odell Beckham suspended one game. Will appeal. Chris, your take first. Well, who would have thought this time, you know, three months ago, let alone a year ago, that the Giants are the bad boys in New York and the Jets are the ones who are on the top of the hill. Reverse roles. It, it very much is Todd Rolls bringing in accountability to the Jets. Tom Coughlin looking like he's going to be riding out to the sunset. Not exactly the way a two-time Super Bowl winner with the Giants, you would imagine. So I think it's a role reversal. I think we're going to see why Tom Coughlin will not be the Giants head coach or should not be the Giants head coach in 2016. Yeah, I heard some of that in the uh, press conference conference call or phone conference call with Lawson today sounds like he, he's just signing his uh, career away. He's going to ride off to the sunset. Like Chris said, Rolls kind of slid right under the radar and now, uh, you know, Beckham showing his immaturity on the, on the prime time stage. And, uh, he's young. He lost it. It happens for the best of him and he showed it, you know. Uh, it's a maturity. It was, it was a bad, bad display. Should, on should Josh Norman be suspended here for the whole baseball bat uh, thing going on? Yeah. If, if, it's a, if the NFL is allowing it, right? Now, <laughs> come week six. Because next week I'm going to bring a sword on the well, field. You know, yeah. it's who the Panthers are right now. You know, they're, they're in a love hate relationship with America right now. Right. If you're on their bandwagon, you love them. If yeah. not, you hate them. Cam and, Newton's the ultimate love hate. You know, you know what's amazing? They keep giving the footballs to their fans and the crowd and in the stands. And, and when I watched late last night, Cam Newton was running around the Life Stadium, and there was a ton of Carolina Panthers lined up along the, you know, the first rows, and he was running around high fiving them. And it's like it's 50, 50 grand a ball every time he does that. I think he's like up to half a million dollars as far as. But I'm sure somebody will pick that hey, up. Let's shift gears. NFC least. All of a sudden, Kirk Cousins. You like that? <laughs> Pretty amazing right now that you know they're going. They're, 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 they're well, here's the place. deal. Washington at Philly, Washington wins, they're in. Philly wins outright, they're in. Uh, yeah, we'll see you next Saturday. So you night. like that? I, I love the matchup next Saturday. Well, night. you like Kirk Cousins and the Redskins? Well, I, are you asking me for my prediction right now, or do you ask me? Do I like Kirk Cousins as the Redskins quarterback? I like it better than RG3 the way it's going. That's all I can say right now. You know, that's not, I'm not giving you my pick for next Saturday. But I like Kirk Cousins. I like him with Michigan State. He, you know, he stepped it up. He's getting a lot of playing time now. So he's really getting the job done. And uh, Chip Kelly taking the uh, heat a little bit this week now, but still in the mix. Chris, six and eight, two and uh, Wait, wait, we picked it. I picked the Eagles last week. Yeah, we weren't supposed to bring that yeah. part up. I, I picked them. Chris said he'd be here smiling next week, and he is. Yep. They got spanked. They did get spanked. So take us out. Three prime rib tonight. <laughs> no doubt about it. No, we took a beat, and, and you know what? Uh, the Cardinals, wow, what a game. So. Now it is time for predictions. I mean, uh, Philadelphia, I think, has the home field advantage here. Chris, what do you like? You know, I, I think that Philadelphia tends to play their best when they're desperate. We saw week three going in 0 2, knowing that another one to essentially sink them in the division that's still wide open. Yeah. I think you've got to take Philadelphia in this one. They seem to play well desperate. Division rival, Mike. I'm going to take Philly also again this week. Uh, I'm looking for Philly to come up and uh, keep week 17 exciting for all the fans. So I'm going to take the Eagles. You know, Kirk Cousins was uh, at, at a Shake Shack after the game. The fans were in line saying, hey, you like that? I like that, Kirk Cousins. Give me the skins, punch the NFC least, we'll come back next week, talk about it, click subscribe. We're just kicking off to NFL Week 16 freestyle. We're getting pretty progress next year. I hope so.